Hello, welcome to Nate Merflix. I am Nate, you are you, and what are you guys having for dinner tonight? Because I will be eating crow. Yes, unfortunately, a few weeks ago, I tried to be the positive guy. I tried to see things through rose-colored glasses, and I told you guys to not fret about Nev Campbell and that she wasn't signed on yet for Scream 6. I told you that this has happened before with her, and she's probably just being a heady businesswoman and negotiating for more money, but that ultimately, our favorite final girl would be back, and us Scream stands would be satisfied Seems like those predictions were wrong, though, because we have an official statement from Nev Campbell herself, and this is what she's had to say. As a woman, I've had to work extremely hard in my career to establish my value, especially when it comes to Scream. I felt the offer that was presented to me did not equate to the value I've brought to the franchise. It's been a very difficult decision to move on. To all my Scream fans, I love you. You've always been so incredibly supportive to me. I'm forever grateful to you and to what this franchise has given me over the past 25 years. So there you have it. Read them and weep. Straight from the horse's mouth, she has decided to walk. A few weeks ago, I was talking about she may just be negotiating for more money. That is exactly what she was doing. She did not get that money. She did not get the offer that she was coveting. And so she's saying, sayonara, nice to know you. And you know what? More power to her. If you ask me, she has earned that with all that she has given us as fans and what she has given back to this franchise because so many other stars and celebs, they hang there for a picture or two when it comes to the horror genre. And then once they get their legit, they get their bona fides, they get their credentials, they say, peace out. I'm going to look back and kind of excommunicate myself from you and look down on the genre that made me. She has never done that. Never has been so great to us. And you have to think about it from her perspective. You know, for us fans, it's awesome to see her, but how many times can she continue to do this same role, a role in which there are real limitations on it because you can't kill the character. And so as much as I love seeing Sydney in a movie, once she gets to the third act, it does kind of rid the movie of a certain level of suspense or tension or dread because you know she's going to prevail over Ghostface. So maybe this is a necessary evil and it's just time to say, you know what? Thank you, Nev Campbell. Thank you for your service. Thank you for everything you have given us. Guys, do not turn on her. Don't be nasty on Twitter. Don't be toxic, awful fans. There's enough of that, okay? Be better. Let's make the Scream fandom a cut above the rest. And also, let's just, again, you know, I implore you to look on the positive side because this could mean some really great stuff for the franchise as a whole. This could really reinvigorate things. And just because she's gone now doesn't mean she's gone forever. She may return in a later movie. And right now, they probably didn't even need her because they didn't want to offer a ton of money. So they're probably starting to go down a different path anyway. And a lot of you say, well, if there's no Sydney, there's no Scream. And there won't be me on, in a seat in the auditorium on opening night. And I hear you, I, I'm kind of calling BS. I think a lot of you, once the marketing machine gets going and you see the trailer, I don't think you'll be able to help yourselves. I think you will give into the temptation and you will go see the new screen movie, especially if that trailer looks promising. So that's all I got to say about that. But also give them a chance. If you actually love the franchise, you actually think it's a great horror movie. You love the conceit. You love the whodunit aspect. You love the meta analysis and you've loved the characters over the years. Maybe have some faith in them to continue that type of thing and show up for that. Maybe you won't have Sydney now, but maybe you'll have Sydney later. See who the new final girl will be. That's actually a really interesting aspect for me. Will it be Sam? Will it be Tara? Will it be a character that we don't know yet? It's going to be completely new and fresh and exciting to reach the third act of Scream 6 and not know who could get the knife and who may come out on top, who will survive, or will it be a movie where Ghostface survives? And speaking of Ghostface, that's another reason to be excited for Scream 6. If you thought the Ghostface in Scream 5 were brutal and mean and intense and awesome like I did, well, guess what? They're going to bring some more of that energy and then some with Scream 6, apparently, because at the MTV Awards, Jenna Ortega was giving interviews and she kind of gave away that that's exactly how Ghostface will be in Scream 6. It's going to be just physically a threat, just going to be menacing, going to be victimizing people left and right, going to be brutal. This is going to be one of the gnarliest, bloodiest, goriest screams to date, maybe of all time. And I think that's really, really smart. And I think we need that because scream has to be topical. It has to be relevant. And you look at the world right now, kind of feels like things are on fire sometimes. You know, there's a lot of violence popping off left and right. All the headlines seem negative. And then you look at the movie landscape, you look at horror right now, the latest Texas Chainsaw Massacre was just a gory blood splatter fest. The most recent Halloween films are in that same vein. And then you look at even A24 movies like X, and it's a gnarly, gritty, throwback type of slasher movie. And so you kind of got to do that. You got to bring the ultra violence to the cineplex. And so the fact that this new ghost base is here for that cause 
and that we don't know who the final girl is going to be and anything can happen? Yeah, it's going to be a scream, baby. I'm excited. So, yes, I am a little bit saddened to see Sydney Prescott go, but this doesn't have to be goodbye forever. So let me know what you think of this news. How does this hit you? Are you one of the people that's going to say, deuces, I'm out, no more scream for me, not if there's no Sydney? Are you like, you know what? This is hard, but I, I hear you, Nate. I'm going to give it a chance. This could be fun. This could be cool. Let's see what happens. Let me know your thoughts down below. And, of course, i got one more thing i got to ask you to do. Have a great day. I'm Nate for Nate Merflix, and that's a wrap.